out tonight and only to ABC 15's John Genovese and he shares their High School and Ten Ten being crowded this black teen Arizona. Chelsea we can live a life to the fullest every moment. Monday morning, Chelsea Anderson's dreams to come were cut short. Police say 24-year-old Tyler Ruiz pulled the trigger on Chelsea and her sister, then himself. It was like hot to cold, like that fast. Cherise shot five times but pulling through. Chelsea didn't make it. She says Ruiz and her sister had just broken up. They were stopping by to grab some clothes. It was like one minute we're speaking and talking and the next minute I'm trying to play dead on the floor. Chelsea and Ruiz's one-year-old son was inside the apartment, thankfully unharmed. We have one boy that we have to be strong for, make sure he's cared for. As this family reads through the pages in Chelsea's so-called bucket list book, a hundred things she hoped to do. Watch the mirror shower in the back of a truck. Now a pledge from her dad and siblings to complete them all, even as they struggle to understand why she's gone. But I do know that God is very real to us and that he has us covered and we'll get through this. John Genovese, ABC 15, Arizona. My heart just breaks because she did the right thing. She went back to the house with somebody else. Yeah, and it, your heart just breaks for this family. I mean, what they're going through, they're, they're amazingly strong to tell their story. The family set me up a GoFundMe page, by the way, to help with funeral expenses. They're also holding a car wash here to raise money for Chelsea's son and her sister's medical expenses. Meantime, developing tonight, four people are fighting for their lives after a nasty crash in Northwest Phoenix. Air 15 flying over the scene here near 35th Avenue in Orangewood. You can see two of those cars side by side next to that tree. A fifth person was also seriously hurt in that crash. Now to a similar scene in Phoenix, except this crash turned deadly. Police just released the name of one of the people killed. Here's the scene from yesterday near 67th Avenue in Thomas. Three cars crashed at that busy intersection. One of the drivers, Josephine Saldana, was killed. The crash also killed a passenger and seriously injured three other people. All new at 6.30, it is a remarkable recovery for a valley teen. Even his family feared he wouldn't make it. A horrible car accident, leaving that Verano High School football player with a severe brain injury and in a coma. Now, just weeks later, he's sitting down with ABC 15's Mike Pelton, sharing his courageous comeback story. I'm feeling really good. Just being home, being able to eat some home-cooked meals. Dylan Miller is finally home. I woke up one day, and everyone's around me. And I just thought, like, holy cow, I'm in the hospital. The tall wide receiver at Verano High School, known as Stick, thrown from his SUV after clipping a curb in early December. His dad says his head left a three-inch dent in the door. At first, I was, like, feeling around, and half of my skull was missing. Dylan woke up weeks later. Doctors temporarily removed part of his skull to help him heal. You can see that curve in his head. Through rehab and hard work, Dylan's father says his son defied the odds. My heart is whole. Our family is whole. My wife and I's prayers were answered, and... Uh, we're, we're just grateful he's here. Dylan, now surrounded by family and pictures, notes from friends and even strangers. The Sabino High School football team sending words of encouragement from a hundred miles away. Just really focusing on getting back to the way everything was. Speech is one of Dylan's biggest challenges, but his family says he's mentally sharp, and if rehab goes well, there's a chance he could end up back in class before the end of the school year. In Litchfield Park tonight, Mike Pelton, ABC 15, Arizona. That would be amazing. We're pulling for him. Dylan's family is telling us contact sports probably not in his future, but golf, that's a very strong possibility. Dylan also says his goal is to eventually compete in track. Something tells me he'll be able to do an unbelievable story in recovery, Dylan. We're rooting for you. Right now, police are on the hunt for a gunman after a woman was shot in the middle of the street. Our crew was on scene today near 20th Street in Campbell. Officers tell us the woman was fighting with her boyfriend when she claimed a different person shot her nearby and then took off. She was hit in the leg and is expected to survive. It's a chilling and very unusual crime in Mesa. A man accused of breaking into a random apartment because he needed to charge his cell phone. While he waited, he decided to eat some chili cheese Fritos. Cops picked up Philip Cabrera near Country Club in Southern. They say he broke through glass and then he went right into that apartment. The person who lives there 
Fortunately, was not home at the time. Cabrera is now charged with trespassing. New information surrounding the domestic violence allegations against a former Trump aide, Rob Porter. Tonight, the White House admitting it could have handled things differently when it came to addressing these claims. Porter suddenly resigned yesterday from his role as White House staff secretary after his two ex wives came forward making allegations of abuse. I think it's fair to say that it, that um, you know we all could have done better over the last few hours or last last few days in, in dealing with this situation. Sources tell ABC News senior members of the Trump administration knew for months that there was a personal issue haunting Porter. The now former staffer denies the allegations against him. Getting ahead of wildfire season, Governor Ducey is pushing for even more money to help prevent the flames from sparking in the first place. Flames like this. Incredible video tonight. ABC 15 Justin Bezerra is breaking down the new effort. It was just last week firefighters were trying to get a hold of a 200-acre wildfire burning near Eloy. Salt Cedar helping to keep that fire going. The threat of another wildfire is so bad, the state says the fire season is now year-round. Governor Doug Ducey tried to keep things from getting out of hand. He's asking for another million dollars to go towards removing fuels that could push a fire to the extreme. The state has already allocated $1.3 million to remove remove those fuels, but it is an expensive process. Doing these surveys, are we coming into some sort of habitat that we need to be aware of? Um, archaeological sites that we need to know about. So it's all of those contracting efforts are what cost the most money. The legislature will have to approve the extra million dollars, but the state is asking property owners to do their part by removing those dead trees and brush. Just a little help could go a long way. In Phoenix, Justin Pizarro, ABC 15, Arizona. It's already been such a dry start to 2018. Meteorologist John Patrick is in for Amber tonight. And John, is there any relief in sight? We are finally tracking a change on the horizon, and boy, do we need it. We only had one good winter storm roll through the valley. That was in early January. It dropped 21 hundredths of an inch right there at Phoenix Sky Harbor. That's about an inch below where we should be for this time of year. Flagstaff actually isn't looking much better, just under two inches there. And with that water equivalent, that's about an inch below average for them as well but like I said that change is on the way I'm saying there's a chance of rain in there we'll show you that coming up are you wanting to order something special for your loved one this Valentine's Day something that says lime yours or we make the perfect pair or how about I find you really appealing well our smart shoppers deal of the day will be the apple of your eye look at these amazing fruit bouquets some for all occasions they even have suggestions for you like just because smiley faces ice cream creations donuts and more they have valentine's day ideas for him and for her too in addition to fruit bouquets for him they offer sweet treat towers like this cute elephant wild about you other beets and wines and for her fruit and chocolate teddy bears and spa baskets too so many options now everything on the website starts at 39.99 and goes up in price from there but with our smart shopper deal of the day you're going to score 20 bucks off site wide you have now through 11.59 tomorrow night to enter the promo code fruit love that's one word fruit love and it's a limit of one code per account when you go to check out this deal holds the kiwi whoa to your heart for all these details go to our website abc15.com slash smart shopper so is that part of your super secret valentine's day plan no it is not no okay. fruit or donut baskets not included <laughs> not included no. giving us any hints on what you're doing no no not at all okay it's all about the love. Oh. The love. And we don't want to know. The love. <laughs> Is that better? Yes. Sure. Sure. <laughs> 6 30 a scary attack at a bold escape plan how a young valley restaurant worker made it through an unthinkable situation a safety alert putting ride sharing passengers on edge how you could be in danger after you get dropped off well, for about five months now the sons have been missing a point guard and minutes before this afternoon's trade deadline they finally found themselves one. not everyone can wear the george brazil uniform it requires a highly skilled professional who's dedicated to performing quality work with your satisfaction guarantee. George Brazil Plumbing and Electrical. Proud to serve Valley Wide. Want to ride with me to the library? Nah, I've got my own ride. I have chickens! I got trash!
Two heroes. That's the tribute card from Desert Diamond West Valley Casino. A rewards card exclusively for active duty, retired, and veteran members of the U.S. military. With benefits like $10 free play twice a month and invitations to special events, it's our way of saying thank you. The tribute card. Only at Desert Diamond West Valley Casino, where jackpots hit close to home. See the reward center for details. An enterprise of the Donald Nation.